Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. All over the country, majorly in the southern part of Nigeria, um, everybody have known, a uh, lot of Nigerians have known the menace caused by Fulani headsmen and their cows, particularly um, against farmers who over time have be uh, bemoaned their faith. And generally, just, just fairly recently, Nigeria had to go to ECOWAS to, to borrow grains just to, simply because farmers have not um, been comfortable going to farmlands simply because of insecurity issues caused majorly by bandits and Fulani headsmen. Well, Amateku has come to the rescue and this is quite interesting. You know, Nigerians have been known to hear the Fulani headsmen have done this or that, but we've never really had any serious or tangible result on that issue. But before we go into the news platform for the analysis, we would like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Beside it, you will see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. The operators of the Ondo State Security Network, otherwise known as Amotekun Corps, has apprehended about 65 cows as well as one headsman. The headsman identified as Adamu Yusuf, who was said to have led the cows to farmlands in other town in Akure's South local government area of the state, where they destroyed maize, cassava, yams, and other crops planted on the farms. Following the invasion of the farms, the farmers in Odurikbo community of other town alerted their motorcycle calls over the development after which they swung into action with the headsman and his cows and the cows were also caught. According to the sources in the community, the headsman and the 65 cows were marched from other town to the Amotekun headquarters in Alagbaka, which was about 5 kilometers in an operation that took place between 10 p.m. to 3 a.m. in the morning. With the farmers putting the estimate of the crops destroyed to be around 5.6 million naira, one of the sources revealed that the arrested cows and suspects, suspects were released after parting with just 500,000 naira. Confirming the arrest, the commander on those security ag agency, Amatheko Mr. Adeleye Olatunji, warned headsmen to stop destroying farms in the state. Reacting to the development, the Miiti Allah Association in the Southwest, Alahaji Abubakar Audu, Chairman Ekiti State Chapter, commended the modality used to resolve the issue amicably. We have had a meeting in the Southwest telling our headsman not to penetrate any havoc and we will keep talking to them and disciplinary action must be taken of course nigerians have taken to the social media handle to react to this matter i feel 500 000 compared to 5.6 million naira is a it's a it's a joke really it's a joke the pain and uh, they have worked the time invested to plant these crops as they are growing and the money is invested and 500 000 was just the compensation money we could do better you know but let's feel the pulse of nigerians over this matter this one here is saying sell his cows and pay the victims and deport him to his country in the north. Well, Nigerians are saying that uh, this particular writer is saying that um, that there's no need, you know, crying over spilt milk. He has sixty six cows, right? Sell the cows as much as you get to five point six million naira and compensate the farmer. Then, of course, since he will not want to, he will not want to take that kindly. Deport him back to the north, where he would learn a lesson. Well. I guess uh, 500,000, if you ask me honestly, it's not a fair deal. This one here is saying this is nothing but good on the part of Amatekun. Or you have to follow suit and stop being cowardice. But Oyo is still, I'm so surprised though, Oyo is still at the verge of still recruiting, having issues with recruitment. And one of their um, um, hunters um, association, local hunters association, had to warn uh, the governor of um, Oyo State to be very careful because some persons are actually impersonating the local hunters association in that um, state. That uh, And the leader is saying, look, they're not for me. But if you must, you got to be very careful. If you must recruit anybody, you know, from our locality, then by all means that they should go ahead and swear with the God of Iron, who, according to the leader, is an instantaneous uh, judgment. If they try using the God, swearing by the God of Iron, that the person dies instantly. But and he's also saying that, look, 
uh, that he knows the good hunters that will be able to face the bandit when they see one that is actually wise for the, uh, the governor to you know go through him some persons were even saying at some point that uh, the the or your state chapter was thinking that the hunters should apply online and one nigerian was actually asking hunters that are usually known to be in the bushes well how, how, do they even have time to know what system is talking about how much more in the internet that if you obviously you won't get the best hand if you're saying that um hunters should go and apply online who's going to do all the resume he's going to write the series and the resume for them and this that except of course is looking at the administrative part of the amount they can find of course you need some persons who are learned and educated enough to understand that mean the logistics involved but when it comes to the real deal of you know t t taking care of and protecting the bushes and the people then of course you need a field workers not admin workers here those who have experience but let's continue this one here is saying well, what southeastern governor should learn a bunch should learn from this and they cause them a bunch of clowns we've got to be careful really the truth is um ex just recently yeah some hours ago uh, there was this law that was passed in 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 Imo state empowering the well the go where the governor was given uh, and as uh, hope was the man the governor of Imo state was given a, a exclusive power to make decisions for his pleasure he has the power to you know arrest whoever he likes jail whoever he wants uh, and you know arrest without warrant you know and without being questioned these are you know dragonan kind of laws and to think that it is was passed actually to law even the lawmakers are not even free from such laws which means if today hope Zodima decides to do anything then that means he is god and god of all that's really risky in a democratic setting this is what i was talking about if um while others are the other south uh, other governors are thinking of protecting their people uh south uh, emo state governors thinking of becoming emperor that's strong indeed but let's continue with this news this one you're saying well done amoteko sell the cows and give the money to the farmer it says sell the cows and give the money to the farmer and ensure the headsman goes to jail well well we do not know if there is a law concerning that effect for the headsman to go to jail because he went for that to say that if they give the money to the farmer as damages paid by the semi-bandit and send the bandit to a life uh, life imprisonment but if you're saying he should go to jail there has to be some laws to that effect okay is there any law within um Ondo State, yeah, it took place in Ondo State. Yeah, it took place in Ondo State. Is there any law in Ondo State that is uh, encouraging the farmers to be uh, to be jailed for life? You know, you don't you don't wake up and begin to take laws into your hands. I think worst case scenario is probably five hundred thousand naira or thereabout. But I think there should be an upward review of such damages. Can you imagine where the where the farmer is complaining that his damages is five point six million naira worth of crops, and they're being paid they're only being paid five hundred maybe five hundred thousand naira simply because that's what the law says. How much is a cow? Okay, we should begin to look at those laws in relation in relation to the level of damages. If one cow is being killed, they say the cow is five hundred thousand naira. So imagine if the citizens of that state kills like ten cows, they are going to pay five hundred thousand naira times ten. Right? So that should be the same same measure should be given to farmers. If they destroy the crops, find out to quantify the non the quantity, the, the crops, uh, the level of damage and pay same. It's not fair really. So it's gonna take bear the brought of the remaining balance that the the, the farmers will you know will bear. And that, that's the thing that is affecting our food security. If each if it discontinues, farmers will be scared of entering the farm and of course Nigerians as a whole will pay the price for insecurity in form of full food as well but that's we're gonna wrap it up what's a take i feel this is a tom tom up for amor tekun they have started in earnest in ondo state or your is yet to come in full swing don't forget that um uh, ara uh, don't forget that adams ghani adams had actually warned um or your state indigenous to be careful especially in national park where he had an intel that some of these bandits have moved in and they need to be up and running the amateur needs to be up and running very fast to curtail any form of um, insecurity that may be springing up anytime soon well it's up to uh, the government of the day to rise up to the occasion and they are even blessed because they're already up and running the southeast as we speak are still but I'm blatant over the issue, issues of insecurity. But that's we're going to wrap it up. Let's put in our comment section. What's a take on this move by Amotekun?
on those chapter listen to that don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel stay tuned for more updates on this and much more have a nice time god bless you stay blessed we'll keep you posted as more comes up